It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 1st of July. I'm James Spann. Big holiday weekend coming up. Weather's going to be hot. We all know that. What about the chance of storms? Let's dive in and talk about it early this morning. There's the water vapor satellite view. Got broad troughing in the east, broad ridging in the west. Surface boundary stalled out around Montgomery. And it feels pretty good. Now look at Coleman sitting at 57 to start the day. Tuscaloosa 63, Gadsden 62. Warmer in the city, Birmingham at 68. We'll expect a high in the low to mid 90s today. But like yesterday, the dew points will stay relatively low. So at least the uh, humidity not that bad. Look at the numbers around the nation. Hey, I see some 40s up north over parts of Minnesota and North Dakota. Now, if you're looking for numbers like that around here, uh, you might want to wait until October. This is the uh, watch warning map. Got some flash flood issues for parts of Missouri and some of the adjacent states. We note uh, Jefferson and Shelby counties shaded there in gray. That is a code orange air quality alert today because of ground level ozone. Also went in effect for Dallas, Fort Worth, and uh, Phoenix. Severe weather possibilities, slight risks for parts of the Northeast and the Great Plains today. And around here, the storm could pop up, but most locations dry. Tomorrow, a slight risk over parts of North Carolina and Virginia. No organized severe weather expected here. And on Sunday, which is day three, there is a marginal risk for extreme North Alabama. A slight risk up around Paducah, Kentucky. And again, that's with a surface boundary that you'll see in just a minute. But again, Sunday for most of the state, the storm should be pretty widely scattered. Here's the rain for the next five days. Valid through Wednesday morning. The really big numbers north of the state from Kansas over to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. Around here, about one half inch or less. Uh, but I do think we'll start to see an increase in the number of scattered storms early next week by uh, Monday and Tuesday. Tropical weather, no hurricane issues for the 4th of July weekend. Things remain very, very quiet across the Atlantic Basin. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06 c run. Valid today at 1 o'clock local time. And again, you can see the troughing over the east down below that. A relatively dry air mass stays in place. So chance of a storm pretty small. Here's the HER at 6 o'clock this evening. Count about four or five specks out there. So most of the state will be dry. And again, pretty toasty today. The NAM is at 93, the GFS at 94. Don't think the weather changes much tomorrow, a mostly dry day. Storms are possible, yes, but they'll be very widely spaced. Uh, Mid-90s, and the dew points are creeping up too, so it'll be kind of a hot, muggy day. And uh, quite frankly, things don't look a whole lot different on Sunday. Lots of sun, mid-90s, any storms very isolated. But again, Monday, the 4th of July, the, again, moisture increases. The surface boundary approaches, and that might kick off a few scattered storms. Not to say it's a rainy day. I don't think it will be, but a storm is certainly possible in spots. And this is Tuesday. We're going to stay in a pretty good moisture pool. Highs will drop down to about 90 and scattered storms about, and that'll be the theme for the week. This is Wednesday and Thursday. I promise these are different maps. They just look the same. And you see that big mass of green. That's not to say it's just going to rain the whole time. That just means uh, moist, unstable air with scattered storms, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. And I'd say for a pretty good chunk of next week, highs will be between 90 and 93. Here's a week from today. This is Friday, July 8th. Very typical July look. The westerlies on the Canadian border. We've got ridging down here. And again, scattered mostly afternoon and evening storms. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday, July 10th. And again, it's good to see that troughing developing from time to time over the east. You don't want to wish it on anybody, but the really, really nasty heat in this case would be back over the southwest. Looks like a surface boundary might try and ease in here. And again, the chance of a few scattered showers and storms. Temperatures, that looks like July, doesn't it? Next 15 days, highs in the 90s. Lows in the 70s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. I'll be doing a live shot later today. So my next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates here tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless.